Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a new update on the Bloody Roar trademark situation. Before we get into it, first and foremost, I hope you all are safe for one and two. There are two things that I have to show off, which I find very interesting, actually. Now, before we actually show anything, I need to give a good shout out to my friend Jose, because when I dropped my Bloody Roar revival plan video, um, he actually contacted someone on LinkedIn, I think that's the platform it's called, where you could contact people within the industry, whether it's voice actors, business people, etc. He contacted someone from Konami, I think it was the European Konami PR manager or something like that. And basically that person forwarded my video, my revival plan video to be exact, uh, to uh, Konami uh, in Japan to see if they're more interested in this type of thing since Bloody Roar is a uh, Japan IP essentially uh, not only of course but it was mainly handled by people within Japan than the people in the US or Europe so I just think that's interesting now when it comes to my bloody or revival plan video uh, this video of mine was published March 23rd 2019 and exactly one year later Konami in Japan specifically filed this trademark if you haven't seen my Bloody Roar revelation video within this Bloody Roar comeback series, Bloody Roar discussions playlist, then it really wouldn't make sense to you. But you need to remember that within this video, I actually called Konami. So I called Konami in the video prior, and I told them to see this video, and it was forwarded, and you just add all this stuff that I mentioned in the beginning with my friend Jose forwarding it to someone in Konami. It's just very interesting. And it seems like things are you know connecting to a degree um but yeah so as for the trademark and what it is what's happening today it has been one month and two days exactly since july 9th since the last time we talked about this trademark business um now it has been published for opposition so i'm gonna give you guys basically the significance of it and i'll read it here so right here this is what it says it says, if no party files an opposition or extension request within 30 days after the publication date, then 11 weeks after the publication date, a certificate of registration should issue. Now, what a certificate of registration is, is this little thing. I'm pretty certain, if I'm not wrong, it's this little ribbon thing. Because, technically, the new Bloody Red trademark is still pending, in a sense. We still have to wait for an update. Which means, if we have to wait 30 days... 30 days after the publication date, which is today, and we gotta wait 11 weeks afterwards, we gotta wait all the way until like late November for this new Bloody Roar trademark to get this filed uh, certification. My theory is that something is going to happen uh, at the Game Awards. Now, if you know about the Game Awards, then you know that We've had Mortal Kombat 11 revealed there, and we've had Soul Calibur 6 revealed there. And the Game Awards takes place in December. And when you remember the fact that we have to wait 30 days after today, as well as the 11 weeks after the 30 days are up for this Bloody Roar trademark process thing to go through fully, we're gonna end up having this Bloody Roar trademark being certified around late November or early December the latest before the Game Awards, likely. Not most likely, not 100%, but that's just what I think. I am not saying with 100% certainty that the Game Awards will have Bloody Roar there. But I am saying to just keep an open mind and look at it as a possibility. Because earlier this year on January 11, 2020, the Game Awards' Twitter actually tweeted that Konami followed them on Twitter. And, you know, when I think about the video I did last year... And then I think about this tweet, and then I think about Konami in Japan organizing this trademark thing with Bloody Roar exactly one year later, March 23rd, 2020, after March 23rd, 2019's Bloody Roar Revival Plan video of mine, and when you factor in the fact that I called them in the video and told them to see the video, and Konami clearly stating that feedback basically starts from the fans and then it gets passed on into Konami and then the developers etc. The Konami senior brand manager basically confirms that Konami and Hudson Soft IPs are inactive. They're not forgotten and they see everything they just can't say anything for obvious reasons and everything like that. 
So, yeah. That's basically all she wrote, or he wrote, I guess, <laughs> uh, when it comes to this whole thing with Bloody Roar in general. But we're going to have to wait a while before anything happens. The Bloody Roar trademark is technically still in a pending process, but not at the same time since Konami absorbed uh, the Hudson Soft properties. They absorbed Hudson back in 2012, so they own all of Hudson's properties, including Bloody Roar and Bomberman, etc. So, yeah, there's your video. Have yourselves a good one, and I will catch you guys in the next video whenever, if ever. Deuces.